Hi everyone, uh, so welcome back, it's uh, another video uh, from Drattle44, uh, basically uh, getting right into pretty much the content, it is going to be about uh, four scams that go under the radar in Rocket League. Now, one big thing is, is that since myself being scammed, as I've mentioned before, and I'm sure some of you will know, um, basically I want to kind of just try and help out the community as best as I can, and just kind of just give some warnings and things of what goes on, um, and things that maybe don't come acro across so much, uh, they're not the big, well-known scams that get mentioned in a lot of YouTube videos. These are kind of little weird ones that come up. They're not the biggest scams. They don't come up all the time, but they do happen. And, of course, if they happen to you, it's very, very unpleasant. So, naturally, uh, it is something to be aware of. Um, if you could do me the favor of um, leaving a like um, on the video, it would help out massively. Just because it gets seen by more people. It gets put into the algorithm if you leave a nice comment or a comment um, and leave a like. If you decide you want to subscribe to my channel, then brilliant. I'll be doing as many videos as I can on Rocket League and Apex Legends as well, um, and some other things also. But um, if you want to do that, fantastic. If you don't, no problems at all. Right, let's get into it anyway. Uh, okay, so the first one is one that you may have seen uh, before, but uh, 1v1 for a valuable item. Now, this is probably one that's been seen a little bit more. Uh, so what they do, they ask for credits, and if you win, you get an item. Uh, it might seem really obvious, actually, to many of us, but you'd be surprised. People People do get caught out by it and it's a little trick uh, it's not the worst scam you might lose like 50 credits or 100 credits but let's face it, uh, do not give free credits to these scammers. Um, so basically, you know, if they're saying 1v1 duel, you'll get a Fennec, a Sky Blue Dominus, uh, something else, do not actually go for it because they'll just take your credits, they ask for the credits first, that's always part of the scam. The minute you give that, they'll just leave and you've got no comeback whatsoever and Cyanix will not do a thing which was mentioned in one of my videos. So uh, check that out, I'll link that one along with a couple of others in the description below as well. Uh, the next one then, this is a, a good one. So the I'm a collector and really want this terribly crap item and will give you anything including a titanium white dominus, octane, fennec, etc. Now this one is a very set scam. So what they do is, is that they team up with someone else who puts the exact item up that they're actually asking but then is asking for way more than you would expect. But then if you actually buy the item to trade then with the other person, obviously for the titanium white dominus or fennec or whatever, they're just going to block you and then they're going to disappear with the profits, leaving you with a very expensive, crappy item. Um, so this actually happened to me. I mean, I didn't fall for it because I thought it was rather obvious, but I know how what might seem obvious to one of us doesn't seem obvious to another. And like I say, I got caught out by the, the Striker Cert Swap uh, scam with Titanium White Fireworks. So, you know, that should have been really obvious. I missed it. So, you know, we all kind of unfortunately learn by our mistakes. Uh, so with this one, then what happened was is on the app, this guy uh, was saying, I'll give anything, including all these most valuable items for a saffron uh, samurai with juggler, sir. And there just so happened to be one on the app as well for exactly the thing. Only one mind, only one. This is where it's clever. Only one. So you're like, oh, it is rare. You know, OK, maybe it is. However, um, when I actually messaged the guy, I said, oh, uh, how much, uh, you know, for the uh, Saffron, uh, like, Samurai? He replied and said that he had been offered 4,000 credits for it. And I was just like, so why didn't you just take that offer? Because, I mean, I'm not being funny, but, you know, most people would have taken that for a Saffron uh, Juggler Samurai. I would. Uh, but, however, um, when I replied and said that, he never responded. And, of course, I mean, this was definitely a scam. Stay clear of it. Be aware. Do not fall for that one. Uh, right, okay, so the other two then are a little bit stranger. Um, and these are ones that I've not experienced myself. But um, I have to say that uh, this is something that has come up. And I've seen in comments in videos a couple of times. So I wanted to kind of mention it. Because again, if you ever do come across this one, um, don't do it, basically. So one scam you missed is um, when people want to buy your credits for in real life money. They send you a fake PayPal receipt, which looks legit. So then you give them the credits and then you get scammed. Uh, this guy got scammed for 11,000 credits from this scam today. So basically um, what scammers will do is, is that they will use what seems to be very genuine things. Uh, PayPal receipts, um, eBay do it as well, but they'll never mention your username, which is 
one of the key things that uh, you know you always should look for. If they're not saying your username at the top, it just says dear user, it's a scam email. Stay well away from it. Uh, but the same with PayPal. They, they obviously people have ways of copy and pasting, um, just making it look as genuine as possible, saying yep, it's all gone through. But then you really should be checking your actual PayPal account because if you don't, then you're just not going to see the money and you really should take your time with anything like that. I'm sure that there's not many of you doing that. But however, this guy was a comment on YouTube. He'd said that it happened and I've seen a couple of others similar to that. So it made me just think that, you know, I should mention it because if you get caught out by it, it's a nightmare. And 11,000 credits is way worse than what I lost as well. And that must feel absolutely terrible. And I felt really sorry for the guy. So I really just wanted to kind of uh, make it clear on that one. Okay, so the fourth and final one is the weirdest of all, but one that apparently does happen. Um, so what the guy said is he said it was a victim of a scan where an ex-friend, apparently, lovely ex-friend, uh, he asked you to join a tournament real quick because uh, apparently a player or a friend of theirs can't. They send you a website link to ESL. Uh, only that it's not a real ESL website, um, it's another one, it's a fake. Uh, it's including the link, you can hardly tell the difference, apparently it's very similar. Um, and basically, probably a bit similar to um, a couple of other scams, but you know, just slightly different maybe. Uh, the website will ask you to sign in uh, with your details, your multiple types. Um, and the scammers then actually get your credentials, they get your login details, your email and your password. And what they do then is, is that they shift all of your tradable items while you're trying to sign in. Uh, the person who first, you know, invited you to the tournament, you know, will be with friends. So it looks like it's in a party and it looks like it's all genuine. Um, it's not actually a fact, of, you know, them trying to enter into a tournament, but they're trying to get you in it. Uh, they put pressure you to hurry up as the tournament's starting soon. Um, and then by the time that you've logged in um, multiple times. Um, suddenly then it's not working, they change your password, and meanwhile they've shipped out all of your items, stolen everything of value or anything that is tradable, and you're left with absolutely nothing. Now this guy did mention about it being logging into Steam multiple times, so I'm not sure if this is only a Steam thing, um, because I play on PS4, and I've not encountered this one because we don't need sign-ins, you don't get links or anything. Um, be aware of anyone sending you links, you know, no matter what you do, um, you know, if someone is sending you a link, unless you've known them for a very long time and they're a really good friend and you've known them years or a long time, then be a little bit aware and just check these things out because, you know, anything that is just slightly a little bit off course can be a little bit dodgy. So there you go. Uh, that is pretty much it from this particular video. I hope you found it informative and useful um, and I hope you make sure where to avoid these little things that come up every so often. Uh, if you did, drop me a like on the video, comment below and if you want to subscribe, excellent. I would appreciate that very much. Otherwise, that's it for me for this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care and have a great rest of the day. All the best. Cheers now. Bye.